Uh, how you sitting? Like this. Mm-hmm. At worst. You better not move. Nobody's scared of you. Don't you box my titties. Hey everybody, I'm Matt. I'm Millie. And this is McMillie. Where the love is so strong, we finish each other. Apple juice. Mm-hmm. So we're here. With, with episode season. two. Season two of Hot D. I wish you just choked on that juice. Anyway. She uh, thought she was going <laughs> to get me to not say it. The fact that you was taking a whole swig, I'm like, well, anyway. Yeah. Uh-huh. I hate you. <laughs> so yes, okay, season two, episode two of House of the Dragon. Hot. D. And we're off to a beautiful start. It's like starting out real cute and real classy, but I know it's just gonna get so downright grimy. So, last episode, Damien said, "Go ahead, kill Aemon." Apparently, some people think or believe that he had whispered them off screen, hey, if you can't find Eamon, kill the other son. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Whether it was in the book or not, I don't know. But this is the TV show. And they ain't show that. So like we always say, Team Day Day, Team Ray Ray, all day day. I don't know why y'all trying to make me hate her. I won't. So forget whatever's in the book or whatever. By the TV standards, he said, Eamon, and I know because I went back and edited that bitch together and I said, mm-mm, these motherfuckers, what they talk about? He said, Amen, goddammit. Fuck y'all. Specifically. Fuck a- y'all. Anyway, we will not delay any longer. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell so you're notified whenever we post something new. Please hit up our Instagram at McMillieReact, same hashtag, and or same tag, whatever. And um, hit up our Patreon. Unedited reactions. You'll get this up there first. If you subscribe to our full tier, if you subscribe to the low tier, then you'll get the pilot episodes of every show we watch and post up there. Please check out The Boys. Very episode good. 3 and episode 4 will be uploaded in like a day or two. We'll let this one go up first, and then we'll be caught up on there because they decided to do three episodes at once, unlike Hot D. A lot to edit in one goddamn week. Hey. But- hey. We're happy to see it. We're happy to see you. Thank you for sticking with us. Still charging towards a thousand. You know, thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. All of that. Um, and without further ado, uh, let's go to uh, start season two, episode two of Hot D. Ugh, it's House of the Dragon. I can't do it. Do a cute one. Wiener, nice and soft. Wiener, 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 wiener. Hard wiener, nice and long. Wiener, 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 wiener. Diddy likes the wiener, 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 wiener. I didn't want to get up. You said sit still, don't move. Talking about your position for watching it. And you keep talking about how my skirt. You say you keep talking Oh, because you know you're going to show some bits you get up and try to turn, huh? I mean, you're the one editing. Hey, Patreon, don't get an edited video. You're going to have to put a little smiley face on my face. I don't edit the Patreon videos. <laughs> and what if they just so happen to get up there on this episode? See the bottom of your crap. <laughs> then why are you like giving me shit about not twerking then? I'm just saying. He's giving me shit because I'm just saying. Anyway. Rounding up everybody. I'm all the servants, I think. I'll kill them! I'll kill them all! Strike is a... They die! Strike! 
Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Yes. That really speaks volumes that you like destroying this thing your daddy built. He spent his whole life building. That really speaks volumes. I mean, that's essentially what you're doing, just tearing down everything built. Well, he didn't build nothing. Yeah, well, honey, very symbolic. The war already started, fool, but okay. She crying because she can bust that nut. I know he must be blamed. The gods punish us. They punish me. That's a fair assumption. It is your fault. That is a fair assumption, bitch. But okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me talk. Your father's fault. Some good may yet but come yours. this. He said some good may come of this. He don't give a fuck. I could have been! <laughs> my son is my legacy! He does nothing and just gets shit on. Now I can see why the Lannisters tried so hard to be on some Targaryen shit. And get the Lord Commander of my kids go away, but. I bed you, Grace, I ordered the Night's Watch. Mm -hmm. He was a bed, alright. Mm -hmm. It's a gold cloak. Noted for his brutal nature. We caught him fleeing the gate of the gods with the child's head in a sack. How you get caught, nigga? We do well to get what information we can from the dragon. We would do well to ascertain if this is your sister's hand, or if there is a serpent nestled closer to our bosoms. I suppose you're right. Could be anyone. Could be anyone. Could be anyone. We'll get the black guy first. This bitch going crazy now. See, when we said fuck up the greens, we never met her. She deserved better. Again, stop spoiling shit in the comments. Damn. I hope they change it. I was, I was hired by Damon Targaryen. <laughs> you just started talking. <laughs> He said, I will talk. You ain't got to do shit. <laughs> Fold it so quick. <laughs> Opera Nira Targaryen. Mm -hmm. Y'all show me to that. Oh, sold his head on. Yeah, it's just bobbling around like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have to make it somewhat presentable. You could hurt me. I, I don't know what she thought you would get mixed up with. Oh, these bitches cry. She's like, man, I don't even know them. She probably having a vision or something. What's going on, girl? Mm -hmm. Y'all, the, the 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 head is hanging on by a thread, quite literally. Please don't. Get these peasants away from me! They're dirty! They just want you to touch them. <laughs> but it's a lie. Damon just sitting there. <laughs> he's like, I mean, I would he's really, I feel like he's sitting there like, fuck it, I'll kill him off. <laughs> <laughs> she said, nigga, you gonna say something? <laughs> Yep. Yep. <laughs> he ain't even gonna hold you. He ain't even gonna hold you. I was clear in my instructions. Aemon, the brother of Aegon the Usurper. I cannot be responsible. Cannot for to be responsible. That's what he said. <laughs> he was very clear. Aemon was not to be found. What were your instructions then? They did not concern in any way that of the little child. You said that it was your aim to spill high tower blood. No. You have wounded me. I cannot trust you, Damon. Damn. I've never trusted you wholly. Well, duh. Much that I wish to, willed myself to. Or have you used me 
as a tool with which to grasp at your stolen inheritance. <coughs> okay, we're fine. He said, not one, two. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Time to fuck. It's been long. Are y'all like this right now? Mom and Dad, stop fighting. <laughs> he was not afraid of you, Damon. He could not trust you. That's the truth. I can trust you. True that. We're not in love anymore. We're not in paradise no more for show. Damn. Is that at the end of an argument? That was a good scene. It was very well done. And gives me a good look at the dynamic of their relationship one more time. And how I need to get this child. What the fuck is he about to do? Where are you going? <laughs> you were a bitch. Mm-hmm. You was a bed. Because you had to have the royal coochie. Mm-mm. Mm. 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 That medieval coochie. That's different. Hmm. Interesting. See, that resembles the same shot of Helena looking at them throwing the mm -hmm. shit. Like we built a connection there. Maybe it's ash falling from the sky, I suppose. It's a vision of ash falling from the sky, because that's what's about to happen after they get going, huh? So he's still her protector. Still stands outside of her door. Mm -hmm. That's why Helena was able to bust in. <laughs> Man. Because he wasn't standing guard. Don't give a damn about your urges. <laughs> What's up, man? What is this? Dirt, nigga? White folk is a symbol of our purity. Oh, please. <laughs> Shut your mouth. We all know you was in our fucking purity. My ass. Where were you? Nigga. Where were you? Oh, come on. Come where on! Where were you? Why is Helena the Queen be granted no small protector? Surely once she has said it, she should have brought the whole thief and the mm. crown. Change the subject fast? The way everybody <laughs> said, yup, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> nigga said, I'm gonna eat over here. Mm -hmm, like, I'm good, nigga, bye. You have brought disgrace upon our ranks. Are you serious? <laughs> Deflection. And now you must restore it. Are you serious? Leave that white man alone. Crispy, you the grimiest, most messiest, most annoying no, person here. And I want it better for you. Must I question your loyalty to the king? It's funny how both the lovers or whatever are the ones sending motherfuckers into enemy territory to kill. Fucking shit up as they go. First Damon, now Sir Kristen. Yeah, it's his turn to do something stupid. All shit without the women's, the queen's fucking approvals. Maybe oh. he's just like his uncle. Yeah. <laughs> nigga skinny as hell. Big ass head, skinny ass body. Does he say otherwise? He's good. How long? A week? Well, forever, I don't know. <laughs> but a week? Forever? Yeah. Mm. You remember me now. Mm. Might as well have remained at home. Who <laughs> Right catches. 
You skipped uh, all the rap games. Because uh, uh. you didn't know which one, so you just said, what come on. Yep. Well, they got him. Got him and his whole squad. And that dog. <laughs> dog that he kicked. <laughs> Y'all just had to make sure the dog could see him hang, huh? <coughs> what, Contras? Oh, I have them hanged. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> We must act. Sir so Christian Cole is acting. Hmm? He said, What? Hmm? Besides, fuck my daughter He's and your mother. Just leave him here. Y'all wanna do some fucking parent trap type shit. I'm the bitch queen, Pitbull. Call that bitch one more time, bitch. You're the biggest bitch here, bruh. He was right about you. Mm. He made me king. <laughs> <laughs> that evil ass. <laughs> she said, nigga, what? I made you king. <laughs> Remove your badge. That might have been the dumbest move you could have made. There goes another evil laugh. <laughs> That's honestly the dumbest mistake you could make. Give it to Cole. That is the biggest mistake you could have made. <laughs> so Laris is not going to like that. Give it to him, hell. <laughs> okay. That same shit. I would do that same shit too. Pick like, that shit up off the floor. You know you don't deserve it either. Fuck you. Yeah. Not that Otto deserved it more. He didn't deserve it either, but like, damn. I hope the bitch bent on the fall. Oh. Huh? She spied on him. She said, wait a minute. Go back, bitch. I just left him. How the fuck he over there? Hmm. He just sent it. They can sense each other. They're twins. So, Eric. serious. He cried for your life, baby. She like, what the fuck? Man, what? she is dumbfounded, okay? Oh. Oh. So, it's time for y'all to leave. <laughs> this servant, what you doing? You just watching? <laughs> you gonna die, bitch. <laughs> it's time for both y'all to leave. Y'all are brothers. Ow! Y'all are brothers. Mm. You're the weaker brother, apparently. Yeah. He's gonna be like, which one? I don't know. Which? Which is Eric? Bitch, I don't know. Ours. You great. Ah, uh, shit. Eric. Stay still. Forgive me. Ah! No. No. Oh, uh, damn. Okay, we lost both of them. He probably couldn't live with killing his twin brother. I, I get it. But damn, that was horrible. Rainier just wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> that was horrible.
For once, I completely agree with everything Otto says in this episode. Still his fault. Still your fault, but you know. <laughs> so. Oh, of course not. Okay. He already know. He knows. He smelt the pussy when Kristen walked by him that day. The way he went, as he walked by, it was too much for me. Your daughter is a slut, a trollop, a common whore. <laughs> and you're just there already? Now you real bow. <laughs> The weakest slap. A little better. I think that's about where Allison would be fighting wise. She ain't fighting. Right after you just get ice and here you go again. And after this nigga all decency and purity. And that was episode two of season two. Oh, hot pie. D. <coughs> beautiful, beautiful episode. Amazing. Great acting. Everybody had a moment this episode. Everybody but Cole. He's a bitch. I don't care about him. I can't stand his ass, but I love to hate him. Purity. Otto, really, um, I thought he gave a very powerful performance because as much as I don't like him, mm-hmm. as, like, as cool and um, collected, and I, and I guess, yes, he does compartmentalize his emotions because he made it clear in that one scene. He's like, look, okay, that's my grandson. What the fuck? But, like, you know, it happened. Let's use it. And I was like, okay, he's not... This heartless person I've been feeling he is. He's not this heartless, greedy person I've been feeling he is since season one. He's he's looking out for his own. Well, I still think he's heartless and greedy. He's he's <laughs> heartless and greedy, but he even the devil loves his kids. You know what I'm saying? So um, it was just a very beautiful, beautifully delivered lines on his part because he helped me realize just how essential. He truly always has been to the Greens. If it wasn't clear before, it was clear now that he's gone. He's the leader of that team, and it's all his fault, everything that has happened. True. Um, once again, stop being us in the comment section, okay? It's cool if you want to debate things uh, compared to how the TV show has gone and the books, but don't talk about things that haven't happened yet. Oh, Madison, no. Okay? I don't want... To be spoiled and see things that may happen and then I'm hoping that the TV show changes it or whatever because I, nobody likes that shit. Stop yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not reading your comments. Like, guys, that just completely ruins it for everybody. Like, that's not what we're here for. That's not what these reactions from anybody, I guarantee it, are for. But we love the debates. So, y'all motherfuckers who kept trying to uh, root for Team Green and was like, but Damon said no, he didn't. No, he didn't. I'm and I'm glad saying. we had a whole scene to say, that ain't what the fuck I said. <laughs> I said, Eamon, I didn't say none of that shit. Even Renee pointed out, well, if they didn't find Eamon, then you told them to go for the board, didn't you? No. He didn't even say that, I but didn't. he did answer the question. He was like, it didn't really concern me what they was doing if they didn't find Eamon. I wanted them to find Eamon, point blank, period. He said it was a mistake, and it was a mistake. Uh, a lot of mistakes are, huh. have been made and are going to be made of course. through this Dance of the Dragons. And that's, I think, the most gut-wrenching part about this whole war. Is because this is all just a big misunderstanding. Helena is the only one on green that I support. She's the only one I'm I here care for. about. Again, that girl don't spoil better. shit. But I'm rooting for her. I'm rooting her. for Helena. Okay? She deserves better. Then them motherfuckers over there. Okay? Beautiful acting moment between Damon and Renera. That whole scene was just... Yes. Husband and wife. Ah. Niece and uncle. What's going on? Now, yes. We we root for Team Black, but we still point out when Damon is a piece of shit. He... And I think he, he loves Renera. That 
is clear. I think he loves her as best as he can love a oh, person. He loves her. Compared, yeah, he loves compared her. Compared to anybody else he's had, he loves her. I know, I'm just saying, to the capacity at which Damon can love a person, I think he does love her. But he still has that grudge because, yes, the throne should have been his. Don't but his you, brother, don't you start, Viserys, nope. was scared of him. Nope, nope, nope And nope. clearly, nope. as Renera said, yeah, because nope. you can't be trusted. And that was, that was, that was T. It, it, like, you know you can't. You, you know, that's what you're known for. You're the ghetto uncle that just be doing whatever the fuck he likes. And that shows the sim- similarity. Once again, I like how they did that between him and Eamon. Because we got Eamon in the sex houses just like Damon was. Yeah. Eamon isn't trusted by his own family members just like fucking Damon was. They have a lot in common. Down to the features. Down to the features. They got a lot. And now they're both enemies with each other. They're sort of isolated now in their own retrospect. It's funny. Renera said he could be gone for a week or forever. I don't know. know. He's, he's not going to be gone he's for just, forever. He's just going to be gone. Just know that. But we're sure he's going to fuck some more shit up. So although he didn't tell them to kill the baby. Uh, the baby he, ended up getting killed because of what you did. He went for that just like Cole sent Eric. And got both twins. Both Eric's dead. Now. I'm like, you knew he wasn't going to come out of that alive. What were you thinking about? <laughs> and just like you pointed out, I love before I, the similarities. Again, the Eamon Damon thing. Eamon Damon, look at that. They names Eamon Damon. I just figured it. Eric, okay. Eric. Uh, you just not realizing that. Helena and Renera and that slow time still moment as we see Helena looking at the what flower petals or whatever. Whatever the fuck those confetti things, whatever they were throwing, and, and then, then like the dust thing, Renera, particles with Renera and in the sunlight. In the window, sun. Like I love how they are doing these similarities. That and like the, the cinematography. Kid. Fucking that, amazing. That and the kid like spilling what looked like ashes everywhere. Yeah. And I just feel like it's ashes falling yeah. from the sky. It's literally what the the recap was. It's a harbinger for things to come. Like, like death of children, death of heirs, just death of innocence left and right, mistakes being made left and right, like critical mistakes. And too. as you pointed and, out, him bussing Viserys model of the city. Wow. Or whatever. It's just like, yeah, you are destroying your father's legacy. You're destroying your father's hopes and dreams and everything that he's literally built. You are just fucking it up. Y'all just don't care about that man's dying wish. He just wanted y'all to be a family. That's it. Y'all don't even gotta like each other. Just be a family. And everybody's egos got in the fucking way. Everybody. Specifically out of but, um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fucking episode. I think Lars is, Lars, whatever, uh, limp um, leg, short leg, whatever Lars. the fuck you call him. I call him Lars. He's going to kill Cole, I think. Uh, he's not going to be happy about the fact that Cole is yeah. here right now. And the yeah. fact that he just made Cole a hand, I'm like, you just did that to be vindictive toward your granddad. Like, not you- even just that. Cole fucked Allison. You don't even know. And he wanted to fuck Allison. So... He only had her feet. This nigga wanted to fuck her, okay? He's the hand. So now Colton took everything this nigga want. That nigga gonna kill Cole. Allison gonna sit there heartbroken like a motherfucker. I don't know if it's gonna happen this season or next season. But Cole ain't got a long life left, okay? I don't know. He, he stepped Fucking with in. Lars. He for sure stepped in. Everything it. Lars wants. So out of how many dragons would you rate this? I don't know what I gave last episode, but I really enjoyed this one. So I'm going to give this a 4.7. I'm going to give this a 4.8. This was just really beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Really beautifully done. Very beautifully acted. Very beautifully shot. Am I biased? Yes. Written. I don't give a shit. What I said was oh. correct. It was beautiful. And if you like beautifully written shows, please check out our reactions to The Boys. Because that is an awesome show. It's not Game of Thrones. But you like beautiful writing and storytelling. The boys is good. The boys. With a lot of high ass shit mixed in. <laughs> Let's be honest. You want some crazy action and violence? You there got you go. That too. It's a great show. Please check us out there. While you're checking us out, please <laughs> like, comment, and please comment your rating while you're at it. How many dragons would you give this episode? While you're commenting, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Follow us on Instagram 
at McMiller yet. Same thing for our Patreon. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell so you know when we post something new, you're notified immediately. And hit up our Patreon. She said we've been talking long enough. I guess. Become one of the millions of McMillions <laughs> by subscribing to this family here. We love you guys. We will see you next time on the Hot D. This has been McMillie. Till next time. Stay silly. Goodbye. Bye-bye.